Seven-time Super Bowl champion and the GOAT, Tom Brady, still loves his digital asset company, Autograph, even though he's in an $11 billion lawsuit for promoting FTX. When Lambo, I'm such a D-Gen. Welcome to D-Jenny from the blockchain, where we defy logic. And yes, the GOAT, Tom Brady was at a conference recently and said that he still loves crypto. Yeah, we love that. Thank you, Tom Brady. Um, let's take a look at the article from The Block that says uh, Tom Brady is clear about love for crypto and less so about a return to the NFL. Well, yes, of course. Uh, he already retired twice. Um, actually, I'd love to see him come back. But anyway, here we go. Tom Brady is clear about his love for crypto. Um, this is from the block from April 20th, and it says retired NFL quarterback Tom Brady said he still loves his digital asset business. That's despite an ongoing lawsuit he's been facing over his involvement in promoting the failed FTX exchange that might have a revival. Ooh, I don't know about that. But Tom Brady may no longer have laser eyes, but he told a Miami crowd on Thursday that he was still excited about crypto. And that's despite an ongoing lawsuit he's facing over his previous work to promote the failed FTX exchange. You remember he had a commercial with Giselle Bundchen, I believe it was over um, the Super Bowl in 2021 in, in a commercial then. Um, and uh, yeah, he uh, he's now in a lawsuit, class, ac class action lawsuit for $11 billion. And uh, that's a crazy amount of money, but I have a digital asset business that I love to be a part of, said Tom Brady at the Emerge America's 2023 tech conference when he asked about his future plans. Quote, I'm actually flying out to Los Angeles tonight. We have a board meeting tomorrow. This is where it gets a little interesting. Brady didn't provide any more detail or talk about the broader crypto industry, but he said he was interested in, here we go, quote, just understanding where the world is going and where innovation is taking place. Oh boy. And there's Tom Brady speaking at the Emerge America's 2023 conference in Miami. Quote, our lives are online and our lives are on our phones and our lives are on our computers. Brady said at the conference, adding that he was looking to understand how people will connect with each other and find the bridge between, quote, those digital businesses and the humanity of people. And Autograph, a sports and entertainment NFT platform created by Brady, announced last year that it raised $170 million in the Series B funding round co-led by Andreessen Horowitz, while former FTX CEO Sam Bagman fried had been reported as being on the board at the time. The company's website no longer lists him as a member. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, the key takeaway here for me, actually, is when Tom Brady was quoted saying where the innovation is taking place in terms of uh, his interest in the digital asset and presumably crypto space. He wants to know where innovation is taking place. And that is not in the United States at this point because regulators, and I don't even know why we call them regulators because, I mean, they're just government officials really, you know? So like, yes, they're gonna end up regulating the space. So. I don't know, do we really need regulation? That's always been the hot topic. I, I think there should be some framework uh, of some sort, you know, um, but like the DeFi protocols certainly don't, I mean, how can you even regulate the DeFi protocols? That's the other thing I don't understand. All you can do is take it away from people in the United States by r restricting, you know, their, their IP, uh, you know, address or location, you know, like you can't use these sites, but then people who use a VPN, then of course with that new legislation that's on the table, you know, the government wants also to put you in jail for 20 years for using a VPN, which again, like they're just putting a blanket over some of these avenues that people can use like crypto or VPNs that are just non-traditional and they're labeling you a criminal you know, and saying 20 years in jail for using a VPN because, I don't know, you're doing illegal activity because you want to be hidden. I mean, it's not that far-fetched that people want to have some privacy. You know, we have privacy everywhere. 
um, within companies, uh, all the way to bathrooms, or like, you know, your phone, you lock your phone, you have a password on your phone because you don't want people to just be able to grab your phone and look through it. So privacy is okay. Anyway, uh, getting back to the article, like, yeah, Tom Brady is saying, you know, he loves his autograph company, um, NFT marketplace company, and digital assets, and uh, but he wants to know where innovation is happening. And um, he's going to have to go offshore right now from the United States to find that. So even in the litigation that he's in for promoting FTX, you know, he's, he still sees a bright future in the digital asset space, of course. Um, I would assume you wouldn't take so much money from uh, a relatively new uh, entity that's dabbling in crypto, right, to promote it if you weren't into the digital asset space. So, of course, that's not the question here. But the question is, where is the innovation going to happen? And that's uh, that's just um, scary for the United States. I mean, crypto, I made this comparison before that, you know, in, let's say, 2000, you know, our cell phones were these big bulky things or a little bit later you had your flip phones and, you know, it was kind of hard to text. You were using the number keypad and you were pressing, you know, the number two or three times to get a certain letter, you know. And then look where we evolved only, just call it like five, ten years later in 2007, I believe, the iPhone, the first iPhone came out and go 15, 16 years further to today. And yeah, like we not only have smartphones, but we have iPads and our laptops are so much more um, useful. Like it could be an iPad itself, you know, and so the smartphone again is the is the example here and you have that basically being a computer in your pocket and we didn't see that coming really it, it was the innovation and the mind blowing you know technology that apple was working on that brought it mainstream or brought it to the you know society and then we made it mainstream because it was super easy to use and super convenient and really fun actually and, and new and shiny and the whole thing so what do you think crypto is you know when people understand that you'll be able to transact with your finances so quickly and without permission meaning just peer to peer you know no no middle entity involved that's basically all that means you know we don't have to say oh uh, permission you know it's like a, a permit like you have to or you cannot do this. No, that might be the wrong connotation, even though that's technically correct, but just peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, me to you. Let me send you some funds. Let me pay for my um, product that I got from you or my service that you did real quick, you know, and we have Venmo, you know, we have PayPal, we have Zelle, but again, you're going through a platform that is doing something in the background with your money. So, Although it seems to show up in your account immediately, it's not necessarily necessarily there, you know. And then, of course, when you move it to your bank, it takes three to five business days. Where is what's happening with all this money? You know, what's happening? So, um, again, where is the innovation happening? And to get back to the point of the smartphone, it is an amazing technology. Even Gary Ginsler said Algorand was an amazing technology or a great technology. And then he called it a security later. I don't know if securities are technologies, right? So that's a big uh, um, uh, discrepancy with Gary Gensler saying it's a security. But anyway, um, it's a great technology. Even the chairman of the SEC says Algorand specifically is a great technology. So it can't go offshore forever because the United States, it, crypto... Let's just say crypto as a technology will be adopted worldwide as an everyday thing, just like our just like our smartphones are in our pockets all the time. Crypto technology, blockchain technology is going to be an adopted thing worldwide, no doubt. So why the United States is so adamant about restricting crypto here is just crazy it's like you could just let it develop you know you could just let it develop but there's a much 
deeper rooted issue that they have and it's that it's a disruptive technology that pretty much is going to rewrite history so yeah tom brady likes it we like it um hopefully it can uh be obviously be global but be a strong force in the united states as well we just want freedom man that's all we ever uh, want financial wise is just let us have the tools to do our own thing with our money and not be watched all the time. You know, I, I just think people will be uh, will wake up to that. But we love crypto. Tom Brady loves his digital asset company and he loves crypto still. And uh, tell me how much you love crypto in the comments below and I'll see you down there. Um, do your own research. This is not financial advice, just my blockchain reaction. Thank you for watching. Hey, thank you for watching to the very end. And before you go, please subscribe to the channel, crank up that like button, drop a comment and share the video. If you want to join me on the View It platform, the Web3 streaming platform, I'm going to migrate all my content over there and create new content on the blockchain. My referral link is in the description below.